probably the worst week ever. I've, I've never had a week this unlucky in my life. Oh my god, it's just so much. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I here make scrunchies and bows and I've been doing so for nine and a half years now. In today's video, I'm going to be making like 600 scrunchies for the end of financial year sale. I sold so many and I was not expecting it and I'm just like, wow, thank you. So thank you so much. Like I think 50-50, I think 50% of you guys were returning customers, 50% were new and wanted to try out my products. Yeah, just like super ecstatic for that. I didn't even do much marketing for it. I think all I did was maybe mention it three days prior and because I had just come back from Japan, so I mentioned it three days prior. I did a couple stories about it, did an Instagram post about it saying, you know, watch this space for tomorrow. And then I did an email. So there must be a lot of you guys that saw the post, maybe because I hadn't been posting in a while. Instagram like made it go bigger than it usually gets shown. Or maybe because people, I don't know, were interacting with it more. But yeah, so that was amazing. But yeah, I ended up with 80 orders. And then I've gotten another 15 orders since then as well. So I'm almost got a hundred orders to pack and make. Thank you so much. Half asleep though. I'm so tired from just this week in general. I, I got the house this week, um, like three days ago. So I've been like cleaning that, working out what needs to be repaired or like fixed. Like I had mom and dad come around and have a look. Um, cause I hadn't seen it yet and I'd only seen it for 10 minutes. I only did a 10 minute walkthrough and I was like, no, this is the one. This is the house that I, I want. <laughs> Probably 50 house walkthroughs. I've looked at, I'm going to say thousands of house listings in the last six months. There's been a lot, but this was the only house that I actually was like, oh yeah, I like this one enough to actually buy it and live in it. There was another house earlier on, um, like a, two weeks before that I was like oh yeah this one would be good but it needed a lot of work it needed a new kitchen needed a new um like bathroom and uh I'd probably say given what I need to do at this house I'd probably need to have everything else done there as well like new doors and new windows so like I don't need those things they're just things that would be nice because you know, I've learned so much about double glaze and single glaze windows since buying a house three days ago. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about today. I will have an entirely separate video about the house. But yeah, I've just been really busy trying to like move stuff over there um, very slowly. And yeah, so I don't have a lot of time <laughs> to make all these orders. So I'm like, ah! My next two days, I'm going to like focus solely on getting all these orders made. Um, there was a lot of, oh, okay, so there's 612 items, and that's not including Etsy, because they do a little sale on Etsy too, and there was someone that purchased, like, a bulk listing, so I don't even know how many. Look, this is what happened, by the way. I haven't had that for years. I haven't had that for years, and I was just like, <laughs> I was so excited. I also have to do my YouTube video today, so I won't even have the full day. I'll have at least half a day, get that YouTube video smashed out, and then come back at the end of the day room is a mess. I can't do much about it. I'll be moving at the end of the month properly. I think the first thing to do is look for the scrunchies that are actually already made. This is what I've got done. There's all of this that's pre-made. There's really not much there. That's what I'm going to start with. Find out what I've got made, which as you can see, there's like six XLs made. There's not, not much. Not much at all. I'll have to make so many XLs because I know a lot's old. This is just going to be such a mammoth job. Get my trusty piece of paper to write on. I've been looking at my orders from my phone recently because it's just easier. I can see the picture and everything. And then whatever I don't actually have in stock, I write down. Put my trusty faithfuls on. And a new series to watch. I finished, um, I can't remember what I was watching last. I finished Modern Family. Now I'm watching Bob's Burgers. I feel like I need to watch something more oh, no, substantial. Oh, there's more up here. Okay, there's also a heap in here that I've pre-made. So I'm just going to get myself organised. I sold a heap of my DIY packs as well.
Okay, so I've got those two all good. They're, that's everything that's made. That includes like headbands, scrunchies, XLs, whatnot. Now this is my list of items. There's a lot. There's a lot of items. Usually I might have like this and maybe like a line. This is two full pages and this isn't even everything. I still have a few orders that came in this week that I haven't even wrote down because I just ran out of room. So like, I had to put that like this little squiggle there. And you go out to the garage and I'm going to get a few extra pieces because I know that there's a few things out there that are made. I also found these, which I know are on this list somewhere. I just need to find them. But first, I'm going to highlight because I like to see things visually. I'm a very visual person. So I usually highlight just different things. For example, I go through and I find all the hair claws and I just, yeah, mark it. This is, this is such a big job. Oh my gosh. Going through all my tubes, I have quite a few different tubes hanging around. Because there's so many items, it is taking a while just to yeah my brain is just going whoa <laughs> but I'm pretty much just yeah trying to go one by one but then I keep jumping around I keep losing. I like, I like, see it, and then I look at something, and I gotta find it again, and I lose it. My brain's just like, I'm just thinking I'm so tired today. Usually I'm like, that's okay.
got a lot of fabrics in a cut. burger so I won a Facebook competition or Facebook slash Instagram competition uh, to win a burger for a year a burger combo so I got this as well strawberry Fanta I was obsessed with the grape Fanta when I was in Japan it was so good you don't really see much of that here as for where I'm at I, I think I've pretty much cut everything I've still got a couple boards um, on the bolts over here that I still need to cut which I think it's what four there I still need to cut like the key fobs and the scrunchy key fobs, but I'm going to leave them to last and do them all together. So I just need to go through this little tub here and yeah, just make sure I've got everything, uh, well, as best as I can out of these two sheets. I won't be able to start sewing tonight. Um, I still have to do my YouTube video, so it's already 5.30 and I have not even started the YouTube video. So I'm going to eat, do my YouTube video and then work it out. And, oh my god, I just found out. So I just took my car in to get it serviced. And it's at 150,000 Ks. So it needs a new timing belt. More money. I'm just bleeding money right now. Hemorrhaging. Hemorrhaging money. So, yeah. Not having a great week. This week has been really, really bad. Um, besides, like, I got the house and everything. But, oh my god, there's just been so much stuff that... Just money, just money. Just everything, everything costs so much money. Doors cost so much money. Windows cost so much money. Paint costs so much money. Just everything costs so much money. Um, so yeah, I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to move out anytime soon. Um, just cause I've, yeah, it's time and money. That's pretty much two things that I'm like, yeah, well my, time mostly. Cause like, I can kind of do it myself, but I wanted to pay other people to do it, but now I'm gonna do it myself. Fun times for me. So if I don't talk to you again today, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi everyone, I'm back. Uh, last night I did a little bit more work after I finished my YouTube video. I will just comment on the YouTube video side of things. So I posted uh, last night about like the the house and stuff and a couple other things um, that were pressing matters. But I had um, people comment about you know doing that the housewarming thing. Uh, they wanted to like contribute towards different items or like you know just contribute to the housewarming fund and it's so nice so many people coming oh god thank you so much i know i, I think i said this um a couple of videos ago but like i can't respond to all the comments because there's so many like i get hundreds a day i get hundreds of comments and like across all platforms so i can't respond to all of them but i do read them and they're seriously they melt my heart they make my day so yeah, thank you so much for everyone that does leave my leave nice comments and yeah, just know it's really appreciated from me. But there was a lot of people that were like, yeah, definitely do this housewarming thing. I want to contribute. So I did it. I put, um, buy me a coffee. I had a look and that seemed like the, yeah, that was what the platform everyone was suggesting um, besides the Amazon wish list. And yeah, it, it looked like a pretty good platform. It doesn't take too much of a percentage from creators. It's only about 5%, which is nothing. Like YouTube, for example, takes 50% if you donate money on YouTube. Um, so yeah, at least I'll get most of the funds from that. I've already got three people contributing uh, to my house fund. So thank you so much. One of them didn't leave a name, but the others are Margaret and Michelle. So thank you so much uh, for being my yeah first three to contribute. So yeah, that's, that's been like so nice. I only just put it up. Uh, so if you wanted to contribute, you do not have to, but if you want to, um, I'll put the link in bio and yeah, you can 
help me buy like a toaster and stuff. At the moment, I've just bought the bare minimum basics from like Kmart and stuff. I'm going to the op shop this week or next because uh, pots and pans are expensive. They are so expensive. I was really lucky to already have some linen um, from like, you know, I've purchased over the years. So I've got a little bit of bedding, but I didn't really have sheets because I left most of them uh, when I came here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't really, I didn't have sheets. I only took a couple of Duna covers. Um, so I had to buy them and they're expensive. So expensive. So I just bought Kmart ones. My whole, everything is like from Kmart at the moment, but I still have heaps of things on my list that I need to get. And I am getting a couple of things from my auntie as well um, that she's going to give me. Yeah, back to business. I have these two. I found that when I actually wasn't paying, like I had white noise, so these things. Um, I just had like white noise going, like I didn't actually have anything playing. And like I was actually able to concentrate so much more. So maybe, maybe I won't, I don't know. Or maybe it's because I had eaten, I don't know. I had, I had some food, I had lunch, and then, then I was actually able to like get right into it. Actually, I didn't have lunch, I had like late dinner. Because I only had like snacky things throughout the day, because I was like, forgot to eat. But yes, I still have a few things to actually cut. So there was a few I missed. I went through and I just made sure I had everything. The only ones I haven't cut are the white elastic. Oh yeah, I got this comment last night to why do I do burrito versus um, uh, chew method? And the reason is because I have two different elastic types. So I have my white elastic and my thin elastic. My white elastic's two centimeters. My thin elastic's one centimeter. And it's pretty much just to tell the difference really because when it's in the wall I can tell straight away which one's the thin, el thin elastic which one's the wide because of the way it's made but besides that I just thought it looked nicer the thin elastic doesn't look right with the tube method it just doesn't look as good but because my wide elastic is so wide I think it looks fine in the wide uh, when I do the tube so yeah it was just uh, aesthetics personal preference and ease of finding the stuff that I need. Thin elastics in the regular size, the petites and the XLs are all made with the burrito. The mini scrunchies and the regular size scrunchies with the wide elastic are made in tube method. Now, so this is what I usually have. I usually have um, a strip of fabric which makes two scrunchies because I'll fold it in half and cut down the middle. I do pre, usually pre-cut, I do pre-cut it for the regular with thin elastic but I don't for the regular with wide elastic. I know it's very confusing, makes sense to me. Um, so I have not pre-cut these ones yet because I will just sew the tubes, flip them because that just saves me a lot of time. And then I will highlight all these other ones and say, yes, that's, that's right. I'll like take all the tubes that I need. And if there's any double ups, I'll take them too. I did try and like split them up so these ones here are the ones I'm using both tubes from and these ones should only just be the one tube and um, when I cut them down the middle after I flip them, you'll see what I mean, I like take them and put them away somewhere else and then I'll take the other side and then put them into a pile that I need to make. So I need to go through and just work out what I'm missing and get these all made. I want to I want to finish sewing today. Like that is my goal. I want to finish sewing all the scrunchies. Like there is still lots of different things. There's like the DIY packs. There's the headbands. There's two. There's two things I actually I'm missing. So I'm missing the pink towel, which is easy. I can go buy another towel to make them. But I'm missing the mustard bunny uh, in the thin elastic. And I have a very big feeling that I ran out of that ages ago, and I just hadn't taken it offline. And yeah, or or it's somewhere in the craft room. Could be anywhere. Don't know where though. Um, like it could be could be anywhere. But it's just it's not on the board. So what I've been doing, even if there's only one strip, like only if there's even if it's like this, I keep putting it on the board and putting it back in the shelf because otherwise I don't have a location to put it and then it just gets lost. So I feel like that's probably what's happened here because everything was correctly measured and Put up correctly. All right, I'm gonna go through this, find the ones I've missed, and cut them. And then we'll get sewing.
time to start flipping. So I've just sewn all of the wide elastic and the mini scrunchies. These are the ones that I know I'm using both, like both sides to make the two scrunchies per strip. I have a whole bunch over there though that I have to work out still. Well, I separated them, so I'll do this lot first. I do get a lot of questions about my flip stick. I have a video on it. Just Google flip stick tailors and it should come up. It is a little bit old, but I mean, explains it. Don't know what I'll do without my flip stick. <laughs> Alright, so I've just finished sewing all the XLs. I still have the thin elastic scrunchies and the petites to go. But I have to go do an errand right now. So I'll be back, but by then it's probably going to be dark. Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, I've had 
an interesting weekend to say the least but I'm back in the studio today. I took all of my scrunchies that I had sewn up to the market with me on Saturday and I was threading them. Also on Saturday, I, I don't know if you can, can you notice it? Mm, I don't know. It's still a little bit puffy but this side of my face blew up. Like I woke up Saturday morning and my whole lip was like massive and it's either a bite or from this little, tiny little pimple here. But it, it has no feeling. Like, it's not... It doesn't hurt. It wasn't, like, massive under the skin or anything. So, it makes me think maybe I did get bitten by something. And it was just very convenient that I had a little pimple sitting there. That made me think, hmm. But anyway. So, yeah. I had a massive lip for, like, the last 24 hours. And it was kind of embarrassing. It looked like I got, um... What's that stuff that goes in your lips? Botox? Filler? Yeah, it looks like I got that on half my face, but not the other half. Or I've had, like, a reaction. <laughs> so, that was not fun. Um, and I noticed so many people staring at me at the market. And I was very self-conscious. So, I was like... Hi. <laughs> Trying to, like... Oh, but everybody just kept, like, you know, looking at your eyes and... Yeah. So, yeah, that happened. And, yeah, the market was absolutely horrible as well um i did expect that though because they put three other scrunchy people well three scrunchy slash hair core people uh in the same room and there's only 50 stalls so i was a little bit disappointed with that especially having three like two would be max especially for 50 stalls like mm, it's a bit mm. so yeah that was a little bit annoying but whatever so i sold Mostly hair, hair claws, actually. Even though there was another hair claw person which was selling them for like half the price of mine. But I think because maybe... Actually, there's two other hair claws. Yeah, there was two. I don't know how much the other person wants, but one of them was like right next to me. Um, and they were half the price, but yeah. <laughs> I still sold mostly hair claws. And I did sell a couple scrunchies. Some big ones as well. Which was good. Yeah, it was like really hard to move stock. And I knew that would be really hard. Like as soon as I as soon as I walked in, I saw like both of them and I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I have already prepaid for that one next month, and I'm hoping that there's not gonna be three scrunchy ones again. I don't know. But we'll see. I, I need as much money as I can. So like even the hundred and forty dollars I made, which really would have been just a hundred bucks because it costs forty forty dollars and something 40 something to book the store because like it was online payment um you had to pay fees and stuff i had the week like the worst week ever i've i've never had a week this unlucky in my life and this was the week i got my keys to the house i've had like just so much bad luck happen i'm hoping this week's different i'm hoping it was just yeah this week oh my god but yeah i've had i had my car break down and it needs a new timing belt and apparently the spark plugs or something like stuck in there so it's like two thousand dollars just there and i like to say i haven't had any issues with my car i've had my car for like six years i bought it second hand and it's been great like it hasn't had any issues besides the mechatronic system breaking down within the first three months which that was covered by the um auto like the dealer dealership um, actually, I think Volkswagen may have covered it because it was, like, still under warranty because it was, um, like, five years or whatever under warranty. Yeah, so that didn't cost me anything. But that's probably the only thing that's happened. And, like, I just get serviced. You know, just the normal stuff that needs changing and whatever. But, yeah, this was, like, the first, like, major thing that's happened since then in, like, five or six years. But it just happened to happen the week that is, like, literally the most expensive for me literally the most expensive that i'll probably ever spend in my life most money i'll ever spend in my life this week and that's when it happens <laughs> everything happens at once so yeah that was not bad anyway continuing on <sighs> this week is massive for me uh again like i've i'm just absolutely packed like i have literally no time to even move like i just don't have time to move I'm hoping, like I got two markets this weekend, but I'm maybe thinking, 
maybe I'll try and move on Saturday. I might just cancel the market and just try and move on Saturday and get it all done in one day. I've done it before, I could do it again. It's just, it's gonna be hard. Because I've got Byron next week. I wanna cancel so bad, but I can't. Um, <laughs> we've already paid and I'm going with my friend, so I can't just cancel on her because she'll be out of money as well. She'll be out of pocket, so. Oh my God, it's just so much. It's fine, it'll be fine. It was a good thing that um, I still went to the market because I did get everything done. I had an hour to spare even. Like I started straight away elasticing all of the scrunchies, did the XLs, the regular wide elastic and a bunch of the thin, uh, the thin elastic regular scrunchies. I do have this little pile over here to do. I'm going to do those this morning. I was hoping to get them done over the weekend. But as soon as I got home from the market yesterday, I just slept. I was so knackered. I was so tired. And I just passed out. And then yesterday, I had to go see family. So, yeah. This is what I've got left. So, there's not a great deal. Hopefully, I'll get those smashed out this morning pretty fast. So, there's a heap of petites there. But also, yeah, mostly the thin elastics. So, I'm going to get those done this morning. Elasticate them. And then start on... Um, yeah, finishing all these scrunchies. I am hoping to have everything made today. I like work the whole day, like from now until very late, just to try and get everything made up. And then I'm hoping to start packaging tomorrow. So then I can finish packaging Wednesday morning and then ship them because I've also got something planned uh, like Wednesday night. That's like 24 hours that I won't be here because I, I had that booked as well. There's just so much booked. Like, it wasn't really a convenient time for me to settle on a house. I would have much preferred a longer settlement. They did not want a longer settlement. So, <laughs> this is what it is. Oh, yeah, I did receive this in the mail, though, which was really sweet. So, I will mention that the stuff that I sent to my PO box, I may not even see it for weeks because I don't go to my PO box regularly because it's in Glengarry and I am not in Glengarry. I'm in... Trelgan, and then I will be in a different location, which I'm not going to disclose for my safety just yet. I probably will mention it later on, but for now, I don't want to disclose where I am living, uh, which town I purchased in. Yeah, so that's the reason that stuff might stay there for a while. My dad does go to the PO box occasionally, and I usually do go try and go to the PO box because I was getting my hair done in Glengarry all the time, but now I've cut back on that too. But yeah, I received these cute little bracelets and a cute little note. So these are from Thea. And she sent me these cute little bracelets. So yeah, she sent me all those. So thank you very much. So you can follow her on Insta or... Yeah, she has her email there as well if you want to contact her. Alright, I'm going to finish these and then we'll get started on... Yeah, everything else that I need to do.
Okay, so I'm going to sort all these out into colours. I have decided, I don't know, in the last few months that I'm not going to like do, be like too pedantic about things. You know, like I'm not going to do ivory for this. I'm going to do just white. Same with like that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do, try and limit the amount of colours I'm actually having to use. But like stuff like these, these colours you need to use the correct thread because it shows up if you don't. Um, same with like that one. Even like yellow, you could just use white. Like it doesn't, you know, it doesn't show up. It really doesn't. So yeah, I'm going to sort all these out now.
Okay, I've just finished all the scrunchies. Now I just need to cut all the threads and then do the rest of the bits and pieces that I haven't done, which is quite a few.
I've finally finished almost everything. I still have some headbands to go, like these ones. But I honestly just want to start packaging up because there's still some daylight. And I'll make the headbands later on tonight. I think there's eight headbands to make. So it shouldn't take me too long. But yeah, I just want to start packaging up, getting all these ready. Because I want to pack, uh, I want to ship them tomorrow morning. There's also another one that's missing. It's the pink towel. Pink towel, uh, scrunchie. But I went and purchased a pink towel to, um, make up. But yeah, this is, this is going to be crazy. I, I don't even know where to start, honestly. But that's the end of this vlog. Because if I try and package up these 100 orders, it will go for like four hours. <laughs> so I'm splitting it up. Uh, so yeah, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can watch the next instalment, which will be me packaging all these up and shipping them and sorting them out to start off with because there's so many. Anyway, and again, thank you so much for everyone that placed an order. Uh, yeah, really did make my year, honestly. It was just, yeah, amazing to see all that support. Mm -hmm.